First number from Ivor Cutler, and this is called Trouble Trouble. Mm. Dressed in yellow Chinese cambric, lay drooling upon my jute mat. Each drool had fourteen syllables. Placing my dry ear to his wet mouth, I awaited a little moist wisdom. I awaited. When I woke, a great puddle of wisdom lay about me, half in and half out of my ear, evaporating very slowly, owing to its glaucous nature. This song was inspired by Princess Berenice, a princess with a six-inch gold chain between her ankles, who is to be found in Gustave Flaubert's Salambo. I'm going to watch my woman walking down the street with a bounce, bounce, bounce. I'm going to watch my woman walking down the street with a bounce, bounce, bounce. The woman is very, very jealous. They walk with their feet astray. My woman is wearing her foot cuffs. She keeps her feet together that way. I'm going to watch my woman walking down the street with a bounce, bounce, bounce. I'm going to watch my woman walking down the street with a bounce, bounce, bounce. The husbands is very, very jealous. They know my woman is the finest in town. They know why she is wearing her foot cuffs, and the thought of it gets them down. I'm going to watch my woman walking down the street with a bounce, bounce, bounce. I'm going to watch my woman walking down the street with a bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce. This is a chiasmic poem. It is called There and Back via Sweden. If there are any children listening, go to bed 
at once know the poem. A nun runs on a string, a fly clings to a kite, a hen lives its feet, milk quietly turns to cheese, milk turns quietly to cheese. My cock lays an egg, spiders eat their hairy young, a monk jumps up on a bush. Ivo, you wouldn't always send uh, children to bed, would you? Because you write children's stories as well. Yes, I write children's stories, but I like to send them to bed. Yeah, I see. What about the book, then, of children's stories? Well, I suppose it'll maybe appear sometime in 1970, but it's not ready yet. What about this one that we've got here, then? Oh, well, these aren't children's stories. They're a bit more sophisticated. Yes? Children uh, like them a bit, you know. Oh, well, that's, that's good. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, children usually seem to be able to accept things that people traditionally suppose they won't. It's called Cock-a-Doodle Down to this one, and uh, I must admit I haven't, I haven't seen it before until this evening. Um, mm. But it looks, it's got nice drawings in it, which you did, right? Yeah. And, uh, but what about the new one, anyway, of children's stories? Well, I don't know, but um, I've been reading them to children and they appear to like them. But whether the parents are pre prepared to get rid of the artificial arbitrary strictures which mm. prevent them from enjoying this kind of thing is another matter, with a bit of luck. I hope so. <laughs> Do you have anything to say about this next song? In my room there sits a box. No, I think it's self-explanatory. Oh, I bet. Let's hear it. I've a cutlet. <laughs> and her dirty knees. Beatty, Beatty. Hello, Pop. You still awake? I was waiting for you. Where have you been? Out. Out where? It's three o'clock. I'm 19, Pop. That's why I'm asking. I've been out with a fellow. This is all right, but three o'clock. You've been out late nearly every night. I know. I'll try to come in early tomorrow. If you knew him, you'd understand. Maybe I do. Who is it? Fred. Fred down the road? Yes. Fred with the blue jacket? Yes. But he's only six. I love him, Pop. Beatty, why don't you go with someone your own age? You don't understand, Pop. The boys my age act like old men. They're tired, 
They don't know what they want or where they're going. They sit around as if the world's coming to an end. Fred, he's different. He's vital and sweet and raw. He knows what he wants. He wants me. He wants to be an engine driver. He wants a dozen kids, six boys and six girls. Daughter, Fred's all yours. He sounds a real nice fellow. Good luck. Thanks, Pop. Good night. Good night. Oh, Beatty. Yes, Pop? Wash the mud off your knees. Yes, Pop. An indirect love poem. If you would go forward, go sideways or backwards by continuously avoiding forward movement, just subconsciously thinking forwards without allowing yourself to become aware that you are doing so, you will probably go backwards or sideways. Then, one day, sipping tea and looking back, you will realize that you are forward. If you try to go forward, you will plop into a maze of inextricable hypocrisy. So, Michael Cutler, thank you very much for coming along for the programme this evening.